Uh, mm, Barbara Streisand. That thing right. was tight. It was awesome. <laughs> so, sorry, I digress. Um, hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Muddled Dice uh, and a new episode of Wet Ink. Dude, it's been like it's been over a year since we've done this. Yeah, can you believe it? When you were first telling me about it. I, I, it didn't feel like it had already been a year. No, it went by quick as shit. So yeah, we need to we need to change that. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. I looked at the last one we uploaded, and it was like February twenty third mm. when it was uploaded. So we yeah, recorded so. before that. <laughs> oh, All right. professionals here. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. All right. So today we're going to talk about uh, just two comics today, Elsewhere and The Realm. Uh, talk about Elsewhere first. Elsewhere is from Image Comics, written by Jay Farber. I hope I pronounced that right. Drawn by, I'm gonna get this wrong. This one wrong too. Sumi E. Kesgen. Oh yeah, that's wrong. Yep. Yep. Whatever. Yep. Uh, colored by Ron Riley and lettered by Thomas Mauer. That's a little easier. Um, so elsewhere is an adventure comic about what really happened when Amelia Earhart disappeared. Yep. And uh, this isn't spoiling too much. It's like in the first issue, her plane like uh, flies into like a portal, kind of something, like, something that. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it transports her and her co-pilot to this like other world where there's <clears throat> weird you know other creatures and other cultures and stuff right um same team as copperhead yep the only change is the artist but you know jay farber ron riley thomas mauer so it looks a lot like copperhead yeah, yeah. i can agree with that the thing that i like most with uh elsewhere was just taking the main you know the main lady the main um our, our hero mm -hmm. and then throwing it into this world with these other kind of like creatures or um they're not like aliens or something like that they're just more they're they're, they're humanoid creatures yeah, yeah yeah that's a good way of putting it yeah and they speak yeah, english so, but it's not english yeah they yeah because yeah, wasn't there one part where, she, where the guy was just like english what are you talking about i'm talking yeah, some kind of whatever valerian yeah. mcdagger <laughs> thing i don't know but the thing that got me with it i was just like oh okay i feel i see what what the writer's trying to do here what i liked again you know we'll we'll, we'll go ahead in this crazy detail let's get weird mm -hmm. i like the paneling of it i like the, the pacing of it i liked how yeah it was all um like cinematography wise i liked how everything was set up yeah. Which, I, which I can appreciate. <clears throat> yeah, I liked how um, it, it's really quick paced. Yeah, exactly. Which I think for, exactly. for the genre, because like I have on my notes, it's it's a fun adventure comic. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not too deep or too serious. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of fun. It's like yeah. a late, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of comic, you know, in that kind of yeah. genre. And I think in that genre, the fast pace works. Cause it's always moving forward. Stuff's always happening. So in this one, though, is I know, what is it? It has like the arc story. And then so what? First then four going, issues, yeah. There we go. Okay. So then there's going to be another. Because I know yeah. I read the first four. Yep. But you're saying you read the, the two. No, right? I read the first. Oh, I read did? the last two last night. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Let's let's try not to spoil the last Fair two enough. issues. Fair enough. Good point. But, um, yeah, but no, solid it's good. Work. I mean, yeah. yeah, I like the... And... But this happens at the end of issue one. But at the end of issue one, we get DB Cooper yeah. in the mix too. And oh, I'm yeah. liking the idea of like all these disappearances from history yeah. are kind of brought Coming. to this world. Has I wonder has other comics ever done something similar to like you know like take another uh, kind of figures or anything like that? I know there's stories. I'm sure and stuff there like, are. Yeah, but I can't think yeah, of any. Yeah. yeah, but I like this concept. I really I'm digging the concept. Yeah, though, so. yeah, me too. It's <clears throat> I like the artwork. It's um. I mean, it looks like Copperhead. Yeah. But it's yeah. that kind of, uh, like, it's kind of, it's hard to describe. It's, it's cartoony, but not overly cartoony. But, yeah. It's, the word that comes to mind when I see it, just with the shapes and the coloring, is it's uh, round. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, that's it's very good. smooth. Yeah. I want to say, like, I want to say they didn't try to, like, you know, in the background make too many things abstract. There's still a lot of good attention to detail in it. Yeah. Know, I remember reading. And then the color, the color harmony on it is pretty solid. Like, yeah. I was digging that too. Yeah. Yeah. The, I like the the coloring is it's it's bright and smooth. Like yeah. I said, it's it's uh it's fun. Yeah. I think that's yeah. that's the best way to describe it. I think that's it. yeah. It's fun. Yeah. You already nailed it on the head. Dude. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Um. That's all I got to say about it. I'd recommend it if you're looking for something just fun and that's kind of quick. I mean, like I said, it's not yeah. 
Yeah. If it's you're not for super like a, deep or, you know, complicated. It's not like going to change your life. Right. But um, right. it's fun. I, but I, think, I enjoyed reading it. I agree. I, I think you should definitely pick it up. Read yeah. it. It's a cool concept. Yep. Yep. Navison. That was like Navison. <laughs> Navison enjoys it. Poor Game Dog likes it. Yeah. I agree. Definitely dope, dude. Yep. All right. Comic number two, The Realm. This is the 2017 Realm because I was looking. There's another comic called The Realm that came out in like the 1980s. Oh, really? That's quite a bit different. Oh, okay. Um, well, is it I still kind of like fantasy. post-apocalyptic? Uh, no, I think the original one is more like um, old school, like Tolkien fantasy or Dungeons and Dragons oh. fantasy. Oh, really? Oh, shit. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't read it, okay. but um, when I was looking on our websites, I got you. Uh, okay, so The Realm 2017, another Image Comics book. Created by Jeremy Hahn and Seth Peck. Colors by Nick Filardi. And again, lettering by Thomas Maurer. Uh, what, with these cats, have we read something from them before? Do you know if we've checked anything? Because I was I don't trying to think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I like, I remember we was talking earlier mm. how I was liking the artwork for elsewhere. Yeah. When I was recapping again on uh-huh. the realm, oh uh-huh. my gosh. You changed your mind. Sorry, now. I changed my mind, good sir. <laughs> that, yeah. thing, that thing was pretty badass. Especially yeah. like the opening scene and stuff like that where it was oh, like, yeah. um, oh man, what's her name? Molly or something like that? The uh, the the, uh, the, the black, uh, how you ever want to say, I don't know, black chick, African American chick, sure. whatever. Yeah. Um, how she was like, what did like Three three hits on some kind of like troll dude or something like that. Then had the nerve to spit on him too after. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. man. It was like She's, one arrow went yeah. through his eye. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is badass, yeah. sir. Um, yeah. yeah. That was pretty too. That was pretty okay. cool. Okay. Uh, we should say what it's about. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Whoops. Nah, See, that's cool. That's what happened. Just got a little excited. <laughs> it happens. Uh, okay. So the realm is a post-apocalyptic American fantasy. It takes place in America, 15 years after orcs and dragons and other fantasy yeah. creatures just kind of show up out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and now we've got some sort of dark sorcerer gathering power for whatever purposes. Yeah. And then we've also got, the main characters are like a band of mercenaries traveling across the country escorting a couple of scientists. Right, right. So the, the sorcerer dude, what? Uh-huh. He has to sacrifice people in order to talk to this being to get them yeah. sucked then something like yeah the sorcerer is like it's a very it's very dark yeah fantasy yeah like when the sorcerer needs to commune with like his leaders yeah he's like sacrificing okay. people and like <laughs> so you can imagine like in their blood into like <laughs> like into a into whole freaking line yeah yeah <laughs> yep. there's there's one scene where doesn't he have like people strung up Mm. And the creature is like mm-hmm. this. The presence is like jumping between the You're dead right. bodies and talking to them. You're right. Yeah. So like it's yeah. it's very dark, grisly uh, fantasy. Yeah. You guys see like orcs that are like eating humans and. Well, I like um, the one badass guy, the one that had like the the skull for the helmet joint. Yeah, that's like hunting the orcs. Yeah, what did he do? That well, yeah, 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 yeah. Is he yeah. by himself? Is he a band by himself? Though? I think so. He... Yeah, yeah. The character Tyke's talking about is there's this one dude who's hunting. He seems to be hunting orcs, and he takes their horns when he kills them. Boom! And there like it is. Keeps them as a trophy. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So it's it's a little mature, a little darker than elsewhere. Yeah. A little Definitely darker. more. Yeah. Yeah. I feel and, like the elsewhere was more cartoony, kind of like Team Fortress yeah. type of jazz. Where this yeah. one is kind of like gritty. Like we're going in your face with detail. Mm-hmm. You know, because there was some pretty. But but I like the I like the paneling and the pacing in in the realm too, which was pretty solid dude i love the pacing in the realm yeah. like yeah. when i was reading it it reminded me of remember how i mentioned this when you did a review of trigger man how like okay sometimes it'll just there will be panels of just like scenery like no dialogue uh, no action to just kind of like establish it okay the realm does the same you're, thing. Like, you're right i love that it'll there'll be you're people right. talking and doing yeah. something okay and then it'll be a page of like here's a shot of the skyline yeah here's a shot of an abandoned building just to kind of like show yeah, the architecture in the realm oh, was, yeah. on, it was, yeah. was pretty solid. Yeah, dude. the artwork is is great in the realm. It's uh, a little bit desaturated. Yeah. It's got that kind of like messy but detailed look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of reminded me, I'm not sure if this is a good comparison, but it reminded me a little bit of Black Monday Murders. Oh my God, I love that guy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but that kind of like pencil y, sketchy yeah. artwork dude. style. Okay, sorry to get off on a little tangent. All right. On the Black Monday Murders. Mm-hmm. Oh my Lord. <laughs> What is going on right now? I, I am glad we, yes, sir. I'm glad we reviewed <laughs> that stuff right there. Cause that, 
right I'm I'm putting Black Monday murders up there with yeah. um with freaking uh uh killer be killed sir yeah it's 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 yep. solid yep. like my there are there's this like pale chicky chick or whatever <laughs> going after this other beer headed guy who is like supposed to be like I'm I'm like God of the East or some jazz like that dude they <laughs> woo, man it was it was some detailed stuff. Mm. Mm, uh, Barbara Strike stand. That thing right. was tight. It was awesome. <laughs> so, sorry, I digress. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with the detail and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah my, my bad. My apologies. That's cool. um, yeah. With, um, what was it? I really like the action scenes in the room. Like, I like yeah. how everything is put together. It doesn't feel kind of like half assed or whatever. And then even it the feels dialogue. Logical. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's sometimes exactly. you see action scenes in comics and it feels like it's just. They just threw together a bunch yeah. of actiony panels and like this doesn't make trying sense. Trying to go for a dynamic pose or something. Yeah, yeah this so one chaotic, felt well. Yeah, yeah, well, it feels logical. Yeah. Like, you, if you read it, you can follow the fight. Mm -hmm. you know, like you know what's happening. That's just chaos. Yep. Yep. Um, do you, do we have a timeline? Of, do we know? It's just what in the distant future or something like that, or do we I know? I think it just says in the future. And I think it's kind of like I get the feeling it's kind of like 15 minutes from now, or not 15 minutes, 15 years from now. We go 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes. You know, everybody die. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. I mean, it's post-apocalyptic, so mm. maybe like all mm -hmm. the super advanced technology yeah. um, Cause, got lost. But it seems like it's like if it were to happen right now and technology stopped right now, yeah, yeah. And then point. 15 years from now, yeah. Um, it's very. So I have a note on here. It's um, if you wish Fallout games had more fantasy elements. Oh, I like that's that. kind of what it feels like to me. I like that. Yeah. It's in like the it's in the American yeah. West, you know. And it's, yeah. Got fantasy stuff, but it's also got like guns and swords yeah. and like kind of a western arrow, cowboy yep. element. Good point. Good point with that. It did trip me out. Mm, I don't want to spoil anything because in the first issue, I was definitely riding along, being like, "Yo, that ain't that ain't that dude's daughter. That ain't the king's daughter." And oh, then what yeah. happened after that? I was yeah. like, "Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Well done. Well done, That's sir." The, the, it does pull you in right away. Yeah. Because in like the first like in what, your face real quick. Six, yeah. eight pages. If that. There's like a neat little like story arc with a twist. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, this is cool. Yeah. I can, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. get on board with this. Yep. I also it, liked uh oh, sorry, go on. I was gonna say it gave a good introduction to I guess our our, our hero being yeah. like, Hey, yeah, you know, I'm this mercenary. All I care about is just trying to get this job done. Yeah. I don't care how it takes to it or anything like that. Oop, moving in. I don't care how it talks <laughs> to it. My bad. <laughs> um, um Yeah. Yeah, and it kind of introduces the world, I think, pretty good, too. Because it's like, okay, this is a world of, like, deceit and backstabbing. Oh, like, completely. Like, no one is what they yeah, say they are. Yeah, You know, you so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a dangerous world. You can't trust a troll. That's yeah. for sure. You can't uh, do that. I like, too, at the end, I don't know if you noticed, at the end, the just, like, the covers and the illustrations at the end kind of look like old D&D &D or, like, tabletop books. Oh, no. Books. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, like, <clears throat> at the end of issue one... There's like a black and white drawing of a, a troll, I think, but it's oh. kind of in that style of like the early '90s, like Xerox. Shoot, okay. Uh, um, no, no, you're talking about, but okay. Yeah, like White Wolf books, like before four color printing got really cheap, so it was just like two tone black and white. Do you think images. it's something that you can stitch together, kind of like with Paper Girls or something like that? Oh, I don't know. That'd be cool. Oh, I'm at to recheck that. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's kind of like it. It feels like a callback to like Dungeons and Dragons yeah, and like old school okay. fantasy. We need to figure out or just learn like I mean, be real quick mm -hmm. Google search what the other writer did and stuff like that. Because uh, I, I bet you it's something see. that we probably read before or something. It maybe. I want to say Take a quick pause. Yeah, you good? Because who was the writers again? The writer is Jeremy Hahn. Jeremy Hahn. <laughs> So see what I'm saying, Ben? You could just totally just jump in and start doing some yeah. philosophical, like I don't know, just say some random shit. Yep. And this like, is gonna be uh, <laughs> this is gonna be Wed Ink featuring DJ Widrick. There we go. Buka, 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 buka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> so this is gonna this isn't gonna make any sense at all to anyone listening. You've got mm. we've got our other buddy Ben just yeah. hanging out with Sorry us today. Sorry about that. Uh, he did. Detective Comics. Oh, okay. He did some he, Batman. Uh oh. Uh, New Excalibur, Berserker, Battle Him, and Chuck. Damn. Nope. Chuck. Uh, Chuck the. Nope. Nope. That's not. It. Yeah, Chuck the TV series. Oh. Really? Apparently. All right. Oh, he did. Okay. I think he did. Uh, the and comics based on the TV series. What about Seth? Okay. What about Seth Peck? Let's see. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My I'm just bad. trying to keep him from jumping up onto the recorder. <laughs> Let's see. Navis, what you want to say? What you got to say, buddy? Hmm? My breath Seth Peck. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Seth M. Peck. Books, The Realm, and The Realm realm Number 1 and 2. Oh, okay. So this might be his first uh, his first big release. Okay. That's fair enough. That's still, oh, that's no. Uh, apparently he did some X-Men. Oh. Oh, Jeremy Hahn, uh, The Beauty. Oh, that's really? That's I recognize him from. Boom. Yeah, that's, See, I, I, I haven't know. read that, but I do want to read that. I love Same the covers of that. boat. Or the no, covers. Okay. Yeah. The it, covers, that's that, what, they look like Vanity Fair yeah. magazine covers. Yes. Just, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Welcome yeah. to Wedding. Okay. Um, so, yeah, The Beauty, when we went to Third Eye it's Comics. It's got a good pedigree. Shout out to Third Eye Comics. Mm -hmm. When, what when, uh, was it? A.O. Please retweet when, this. Yeah. When he <laughs> recommended that joint, the beauty, the cover on there was badass. Yeah. Like, I was, okay. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the realm, it's it's uh, got a good pedigree. Yeah, I agree. I agree, right homie. Now. Definitely worth checking out again. Yep. I would honestly, if I had, if I did, mm -hmm. if I had to take one over the other, I would probably check out the realm first. Okay. Then checking out the uh, elsewhere. Um, again, just because I gravitate more towards like you know the mercenary, the violence yeah. and stuff in there. So. Yeah. And yeah. I think too the realm, depending on what you're looking for, the realm. It took me a little bit longer to get through each issue just because, mm -hmm. like I said, the pacing is slower mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. art panels were like, oh, man, I just want to, like, yeah. stick on this and, like, look at the scenery for a bit. Yeah, I agree. Uh, elsewhere, elsewhere is great, but, like, I mean, I can I get through an issue in, like, 10 minutes because yeah. yeah. it's so fast-paced. Yeah. And it's not to say that there's not a lot of story in each issue. It just happens quickly, and there's, you know. Mm -hmm. Well put. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So recommend The Realm and recommend Elsewhere. Mm. Black Monday murders. And Black Monday murders. Do that shit. Uh, and uh, and the beauty. <laughs> and the beauty. We got even though neither of us have read it yet. Um. Well, we see, maybe you, on the next one. No. Um. Yeah. I have not. I have not. Not enough to like you know voice an opinion on yeah. it yet. Yeah. But okay. Definitely worth something we should check out. Hopefully yeah. not next year. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. So. Uh, cool. All right. That's it. All right. Thanks everyone for listening. Uh, subscribe if you like this episode. Hopefully, we'll upload another wet ink before next year. Um, it's going to happen. It'll, yeah. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. So. All right. Thanks, everyone, again. Good night. Deuces. Good night.